And this is somebody who, back in the day and in the 90s, he was on the block getting to it. This is the peak of the crack era. So it's like, what did you do with all your crack money? It was so much money going on in the hood that dudes had shifts. They was like, yo, listen, from 12 such and such time, we gonna be out here. And then from such and such time for the rest of the day, y'all gonna be out here. That's how much money was on the block. And he was right in the middle of it, right in the thick of it. Fast forward to now, it was 2016, 17, 18. He on the block, trash, living with his mother, Drunk. I bring it to you like it's law and order SVU. Turn you to a vegetable. Now you look good inside a soup. Family come from Bishopville, but I grew up in that Bronx. Do it. What up, y'all? Stay on Mighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. And uh, I'm a 90s baby. Remember being a kid in the hood and you had what was called an imagination, you know, and you had ambition and optimism. And as a kid, you would think to yourself and play fantasies in your head. And the number one thing you wanted to do if you came from an impoverished neighborhood was. Move out the hood, right? Something changed. I remember I got to about 15 years old and I just did my first extent in jail when I went to Horizon and Spofford in the Bronx. <laughs> Shout out to people at Horizon. You know, you wake up every day, Burger King right there. You smell a bunch of burgers every day that smell good that you ain't going to eat because you eat jail food. But anyways, I remember being about 15 and I just came home and I started having those thoughts again about moving out the hood. And I remember talking to my homies at the time. I'm like, yo, listen, I want to do this, this, that, that, that. Uh, I want to move out the hood someday. Even as young as 15 years old, I knew that I wanted to move out of Cortland. I wanted to leave 161st Street, where I grew up at. And I remember my friend being like, what? What you mean you want to leave the hood? This is all I know. Mind you, we were young. and He was a little bit younger than me. I was 15. He had been like 13, 14 at the time, right? And he like, what you mean you want to leave the hood? What else is out there for us? He was saying that to me. We was real young, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he was like, I'm always going to be here. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be here till I get old. And mind you, I was looking at him like he was crazy. Fast forward to 2023. That nigga is still in the hood right now. Like, if you go to the hood... Right now, he's probably standing in front of the building with a blunt in his hand. No, you don't want to be like me and 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 uh, you get to 2019 and you still want to move, but you ain't take the time out to maybe plan for a year or two, so then you move with nothing and then you got to move in your mama crib for a year like I did. Of course, I'm not in my mother crib now. Mama, you here? <laughs> I'm not in my mother crib now, but you know. I could have had a better situation. I could have I could have made sure I saved some money and, and had a car before I moved to South Carolina and drove to South Carolina instead of taking the China bus and having my ass hurt. Now, if you're somebody who has ambition and you have expectations for yourself and you think highly of yourself, right? And you really want to live a better life or at least see something different, this is for you. Now, if you're a hood booger, you're a gang banger who 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 has no intention on brightening your horizons and expanding your portfolio then guess what? This ain't for you. You can stay your dumb ass in the hood. Stay ass in the hood. Go ahead and uh cuff cuff one of the slores who slept with 10 other people in your hood. You could do that. You could do that. You can continuously go to jail. Act like you really love these men who you're doing crimes when you go to jail. I'm going to tell them. But without further ado, let's get to it, man. First reason. You do not want to be like the old heads you used to have respect for. Because you will become the old head the young guys used to have respect for. I remember being another one of the things that moved me closer towards making my move out of the hood and New York City in general in 2019. I remember maybe like the summer or two before that, I was sitting in back of the hood. It's a bright spring day, nice outside, everybody outside, you know what I mean? Uh, dudes is outside, chicks is outside, kids outside running around, you know, uh, my son Cameron running around and all that. And... I remember seeing this guy who I had so much respect and, 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 and love for this guy growing up. You know, he's probably like 10, 15 years older than me, you know, and I never realized how much of a drinking problem he had. So at some point, I leave the back of the hood. I go to the front of the hood. I go to the store. I see him in front of the liquor store. He drinking his little nips. I don't know if they call it nips everywhere, but you know, them, them little liquor bottles that's like this size or whatever, right? So while I'm in the store chopping it up with him, he downs like three, three or four. This is 
quickly. This is within like 10, 15 minutes, you know, it's me, him, a couple other people. So this had to have been like three, four in the afternoon, maybe earlier. I'm not thinking nothing of it at first. I'm like, oh, they getting drunk again, right? So maybe like an hour later, everybody in the back of the hood, and I'm telling you, it's litter. Like everybody, everybody fly. Like I said, my son is outside. He running around with the kids. My baby mama, her friend's out there. Me and my peoples is outside. And I remember he comes stumbling into the back. He drunk. Shit face wasted, right? Mind you, like I said, it's four or five in the afternoon. And he just getting pissy, pissy, drunk. Continuing to drink the nips. He's stumbling and all of that. He's picking a fight with another older guy on the block. And at some point, he throws up on himself. Throws up all over himself. And somebody comes and escorts him. And brings him upstairs to his mother's house where he lives at with his mother and his baby mother, right? And his little sister and his two, three kids. And dude was 35 at the time. And I remember watching that situation and I'm like, I don't ever want to be like this nigga. That was one of the, one of the confirming times where I said, I'm definitely going to move off this block. I refuse, as lit as I am right now, right, as far as I am right now, as much of a ladies man as I am right now, I refuse to be his age on the block. And when I say 35, might have been closer to 40, might have been closer to 37, 38, 39, right? Because he, he probably like 42, 43 right now. And this is somebody who, back in the day and in the 90s, he was on the block getting to it. This is the peak of the crack era. So it's like, what did you do with all your crack money? It was so much money going on in the hood. That dudes had shifts. They was like, yo, listen, from 12 to such and such time, we going to be out here. And then from such and such time for the rest of the day, y'all going to be out here. That's how much money was on the block. And he was right in the middle of it, right in the thick of it. Fast forward to now, it was 2016, 17, 18. He on the block, trash, living with his mother, drunk. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. That's why you need to move out of the hood that you grew up in.